Hello, my friends. For those who don't know me, I'm Brother Sean. I'm a Catholic Christian who embraces Franciscan into spirituality. And the purpose of doing this short video is a heart response to what you and I and many others are seeing on our TV screens in Syria. And we are aware that there is a faction between the Shiite and Sunni Muslim. But my heart is saying, where are the religious leaders of both sides? Where are the mullahs for the Shiite and the Sunni Muslims who are killing one another, if not in the name of Allah, then they are desecrating the teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. In my own vulnerability, I feel so helpless for them. There's a part of me that wants to go to Syria and bang their heads together and say, what are you achieving through this? We know there is corruption. We know there's a complete disregard for the sanctity of life. And it's all tit for tat. We know the United Nations have been involved and their cry for clemency and mercy have fallen on deaf ears. So who can the innocent people of Syria turn to? Who can the whole family of God, representing all faiths and none, do at this time apart from prayer? It would be a miracle if all the religious leaders of all the world religions were to unite and hold a summit and plead with the religious leaders of the Shiite and Sunni Muslim and challenge them in the name of Allah, is this the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad? I know it's not, you know it's not, so why aren't they hearing that? It reminds me so much as a young monk when I lived in Northern Ireland in Warren Point, as a young nursing monk doing psychiatry. We paid the price for looking after non-Catholics from the IRA, fact. And in those days, in the late 60s, we didn't have all the wonderful technologies that's available today in psychiatric care. It was very much the straitjacket, the locked ward, and ECT therapy. And we had a lot of burnt out schizophrenics. Some were harmless, but the majority were violent. And we had several bomb scares a month in our small Catholic hospital. And it was just a crazy experience. At that time, I was 21. And it was nerve wracking trying to find patients who were running wild in the village. So A, that they wouldn't do harm to themselves and B, that they wouldn't do harm to others. So I'm familiar with the conflicts that we had in Northern Ireland between two factions within the Christian family. Catholic and Protestant, but it wasn't religion, it was evil. And that's what's happening in Syria. The evil one is planting seeds of despair, revenge and hate for the children of God. And it's my belief that we cannot sit and just watch this on our TV screens. We turn to our religious leaders and we invite them as the shepherds of God's children to be more proactive and do something that will bring the religious leaders of Syria to the table of many blessings so that the difficulties and the differences can be prayed over, reflected upon and a positive action be enforced where both sides can live in peace and where the injustices can be faced together. I want you to pray with me 
that we will see an end to this needless violence. It destroys the whole family of God and it gives the non-believer ammunition to throw at a loving God. My heart is aching for peace in that land and I invite you to join me to join me and send love, light and blessing to that beautiful country and that the religious leaders will wake up and instead of seeking revenge and preaching an abomination from the pulpit, that they will try and discern the true teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, a man of great peace, and that they will, instead of praying to Mecca three times a day, that they will go in on their heart and ask themselves, is this what being a child of God is all about? Let us send love, light and blessing to the mullahs of both belief systems in the Muslim fraternity, that they will wake up and that they have the power to bring the government of that land to heal instead of creating further division and hate. Let us pray, Father, Mother, God, we pray the prayer of peace that God's children in Syria will find that peace and that all religious leaders will unite and condemn the violence and the atrocities and bring those religious leaders to account for not becoming peacemakers, kingdom builders for God. We ask this in the name of the Supreme. Amen.